According to his wife, Miriam Modoni Madenge, it was in February 1952 when Mau Mau Freedom Fighter General Stanley Madenge went into the bush. 51 years later, in 2003, the NAC government would announce they had traced him in Ethiopia and even planned to fly him home. However, upon his arrival, it turned out to be a fiasco. 15 years down the line, mother and son still hold conflicting positions on whether or not that indeed was the lost General Stanley Madenge. This is the untold story. Na tunataka kuishukuru serikali ya Rais Kibaki kwa sababu imefanya jambo hili litukie. The Kenyan government was thrown into a state of confusion and officials started to panic. The system had been misled into flying in a fake general. Shame and ridicule was in the air. He was chauffeured to the Sarova Pan-Afric as government operatives embarked on Plan B to get rid of a man who would have been a special state guest the following day during Madaraka Day celebrations on June 1st, 2003. You know, when he was taken to Pan-Africa, he became the property of the state. He was um, a guest of the state. They were taking care of him, and I didn't know what they intended to do and whether they did it uh, while he was there. The last thing I heard is that he had, t he had, he had been taken back, but for sure, by the time he was being taken back, uh, the entire project uh, seemed to force. Uh, what I did not understand, uh, something that disturbed me just as much as his doubtful uh, identity, was the way the state, the secrecy with which the state treated this matter. I had hoped that it would be uh, I mean, there was nothing really much to hide. If, if, the, if, if the government, like the others, had been wrongly convinced that this man was genuine, they should have been forthright about it. Uh, but I think they also got their doubts. Uh, I'm not sure whether Ayanu met President Kibaki, whether they had a discussion or not. Kibaki is from Nyeri. It emerged that then President Mwaiki Baki who was still under round the clock medical monitoring after the accident on the eve of his election in December 2002 declined to meet Lema Ayanu. He tasked his personal doctor to establish the man's identity. So the controller now has to find a way of confirming this man is the one. So I am told uh, to confirm. This time, he's being kept by the state in pan African Hotel. So we have to go and get some samples to find out for sure, is this man the real man? He's not speaking to you. I don't know when he forgot. He, and uh, so we decided we have to go and examine him. By this time, Ebon knew my face. And I say, if I walk in pan African Hotel, and the man is there, able to know the doctor has come. So I arranged with one of my younger junior partners, Dr. Martin Wanyoi, I told him, Martin, now listen, nobody knows you, so you go to pan Africa and get the samples. Then one of my friends told me, you know, and when you are there, check whether he's circumcised. <laughs> I said, why do you say that? Because in the days that General Matenge would have become a man equivalent. There were ways of doing it. There were techniques. It should look like this. So he said, okay, we're looking at that also. <laughs> so he went and he took samples. I didn't go, I sent my colleague to go and take samples. He brought them to me. And then we handed them to the state. And uh, I told my colleague to check. And sure enough, his way of being a man was not 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 the not the Kikuyu way of those days. Yeah, we could tell this is uh, yeah, this is not a Kikuyu. Although he's circumcised, it is not the way Kikuyu used to do it those days. Mama ukimwambia hiyo simma thenge hiyo ayanu hiyo mtakosana. 
anasema hiyo ni mathenge na watoto wengi huko Ethiopia unajua hajui hajui DNA lakini mimi nilionya mama yangu kitambo nikamwambia sasa bwana yako alichukua silaha akaingia mstuni akapigana na hawa na hata wakati hiyo monument ya watu kama kemazi haikuwa imetolewa sasa unataka monument inakuja kuwekwa ya watu wengine sio ya bwana yako najua hiyo haoni lakini sababu ya kupada kwa dege na pesa kidogo kidogo karibu historia ya mji sasa hakuna mtu anaweza peda maneno ya mathenge maana ilikuwa kwa ni aibu hmm? ilikuwa aibu na mimi nilikuwa kwa naona hiyo aibu hmm? nilijua hata kuwa mathenge hata ikifanywa nini maana ile mzee niliona yeye huko na mimi sikuwa na haja na pesa nilikuwa kwa na haja na baba yangu sasa wakati nilisikia si na nikaona mimi na kube kalemi bado anaendelea huko anaita akina mama anaita nani hmm? na nasidi kusema hiyo ni bwana hiyo ni bwana unaona mimi nafikiri anaona kama hiyo ni sifa hata sasa ukienda atakwambia hiyo tu and the real mavenge family showed a remarkable disinterest in the man from ethiopia not only did they stay away from the planned grand reception at the airport they also never set foot at the pan afric hotel to visit the man sasa wakati alienda pan afric sasa nikasema hii mambo itakuwa baya maana sasa uongo sasa ya kalimi itaingia sasa nikachukua mama yangu nikapeleka yeye kwa uko kwa OTC kulikuwa kwa building nyingine ilikuwa kwa na kuwa haya dina Kenya African Maumau Union ilikuwa kwa naongozwa na mzee mmoja anaitwa Kanio sasa tukaweka mama yangu huko na wapigana njie wengine wa uhuru huko wengine walikuwa kwa wamefugwa kamiti na yeye mpaka hii mzee akaenda sasa nilikuwa kwa mimi hata kalimi alikuwa anakuja huko kujaribu kunitoa huko na mama yangu twende huko Pan Afric sasa yule aliyeda Pan Afric ni baba yangu mdogo William Meruge ndiye aliyeda huko sasa mama yangu nilifaulu kusuia ye na mimi hatukuenda huko mpaka wakati tuli, nilikuwa kwa mimi najaribu kupanga vile nikatoa gazeti moja nikasema huyu mtu hata toka hapa kama haijajulikana ni mathenge ama si mathenge sasa alihamishwa nikasikia ameenda vile mnakubuka alienda his son Mirugi says he had dismissed the old man from the word go he had initially met Lema Ayanu when he was flown to Ethiopia with the help of journalist Joseph Karemi now deceased and some Kenyans living in Addis Ababa led by George Milimo tulikasi kubili tatu kabla hatujaenda kwa mzee Atolema Ayanu kulikuwa kwa mzee mmoja alikuwa kwa nakaa huko anaitwa mimi nafikiri alikuwa anaitwa sijui barasa milimo alikuwa anaitwa milimo bwana yake sasa milimo wakati mmoja akaniambia tutaenda sasa nikwambie pale baba yako wako tukaenda huko slamsi huko tukafika pahali akaitiza pombe changa akameza mara tatu kamwambia mizi kunyi pombe kama hii nilikuwa kwa mimi na fikiria atanipeleka pale tutapata baba sasa ni changa mimi nikokata he was very aido sasa kutoka hapo sasa ndipo tulienda kwa hiyo mtu lema kwa ke nyumbani tukakuta hiyo mzee inasemekana ati alikuwa kwa na ngombe mingi hapana lakini mimi nafikiri kijana yake mmoja alikuwa kwa chief hii ni mzee tu mzee kama hana akili tumamu kabisa vile niliona kufugumiza na yeye afugumuzi lakini alikuwa kwa amekuwa feed na maneno vile atasema kwangu lakini hakuzema Hea alizema mbe hajawahi kuja Kenya isipokuwa wakati sijui ya fita alikuwa kwa mpakani ah, sasa wakati tulitoka huko tukaeka huko tu na kalemi sasa wakati tulitoka huko kitu moja niliona ya kalemi ni wakati tulitoka airport 
alinileta express hapo kubali nikutane na mtu huko Nairobi hata marafiki yangu hata nani akanileta fua mpaka kwa matatu tirum aka hakikisha nimeingia kwa gari nikanja sasa ile gari nilikuja nilifika nyeri kama usiku nikaingia lori ya makaa ya kubeba makaa ikaharibikia huko kimazi technology huko zimumeiona sasa huko hapa nilifika saa 8 ya usiku maana tuligojea gari huko na hii msito hapa umeiona sasa hiyo ilikuwa kwa imeja sana miti sasa nikafikiria sasa hii mtu kunileta haraka haraka ni ya nini? Sasa wakati nilikaa standard watu wa standard waliniambia Karimi angeapea angeapatiwa milioni tatu nusu. Kwa sababu ya kuona mtu ambaye alipotea miaka hamsini. na angeapatiwa journalism investigation award angepatiwa hiyo pesa huko zijui South Africa that is when Mirugi was convinced that Atolema Ayanu was not his long lost father Stanley Madenge lakini wakati nilifika huko Ethiopia nikaangalia hii mzee nikafanya research nikaambia wewe ulisaliwa wapi akaniambia alisaliwa wapi huko huko tu Addisa baba sasa hiyo ilinionyesha hiyo mtu si mtu wa Kenya na hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza sahau lugha yake. Si Italian sisters na Catholic priests, Italians. Si wako hapa hata wase na bado hawasahau hii kuongea hii Kiitaliano. Hmm? Sababu huyu asahau kuongea kikuyu. Hmm? Kuna hiyo ilikuwa kwa uongo high level. Na hiyo ni mbaya sana. Hmm. Na unajua hiyo hiyo mambo ilileta aibu hapa kwa hii mji. Hiyo ni mbaya. Najua kama vile nilikwambia nilimwambia mama wewe sema ukweli. Maana bwana yako alijipamba kwa buduki kwa kila kitu akaingia msituni akapigana. Na monument sikija kuwekwa sasa zitawekwa za mtu mwingine. Unajua hajui hiyo na baada zijui kama ya miaka kumi ama saba, ndio hii kitu ya monument ya kimazi ya nani ikaanza kutokea. Kamwambia sasa ona lakini bado anasema ni yule yule mathenge na yule iko kwa hadi sababu na atakuja atakuja siko hapa na atakuja siko mahiga This is KTN News